This is how you can make an advanced translator command for your Discord.js version 14 bot, so let's go ahead and get started. Before I show you how to do this, I'd like to say that if you'd like to get access to the source code from this video and other videos on my channel, you can do so by joining a channel membership or a subscription over on Discord. On YouTube, if you get the super god or custom bot tier, you'll get access to that source code. And on Discord, if you get the god or custom bot tier, you will also get access to that source code. And of course, on both platforms, if you get the custom bot tier, me and my team will code you a personalized custom Discord bot. If any of this is of interest to you, go ahead and click the links in the description below to get started with this and let's go into get into the video so we can start by going over to community and we can go ahead and create it translate.js in here we can do const and we're going to get our slash command builder and we can also get our embed builder and then we can do equals require and we can go ahead and just get discord.js then we can do const translate equals require and in here we can go ahead and get at i am traction and then we can do slash google translate just like that now you are going to actually have to install this so you're going to want to go ahead and do npm i at i am traction slash google translate just like it is shown here uh, otherwise this will not work so then we can do module that exports and then we do equals we can open this up we can do data and that's going to be new slash command builder we can go ahead and set a name and this is going to be translate you can go ahead and set a description and this is just going to be translator before we go on any further i would like to say credit to fuzz for this code uh he was able to provide it for me so thank you very much and credit to him so let's go ahead and get back into it all right so back Back into the code we can go ahead and add a string option and we can go ahead and get option arrow function option dot set name and this is going to be message and then we can go ahead and set a description and in here we can say what do you want to translate so we can go ahead and set required we're gonna make that true uh, then we can add another string option and we can get option arrow function option dot set name. This is going to be our language. Then we can go ahead and set a description. And in here we can go ahead and say the language you want to translate to. And then we can go ahead and add choices. We can go ahead and open this up. We can go ahead and start and we're going to go ahead and get English. And then we can go ahead and set our value and that is going to be EN. So we're going to pretty much do the same for all of the other languages we're going to be using. So we can add a comma and we're just going to go ahead and copy it. So the next language is going to be Latin. For this, we can go ahead and do LA and we can do this again. This is going to be French and then this is going to be FR. We can go ahead and do this again. We're going to go ahead and get to German and this is going to be DE. Then we can go ahead and do Italian and that is going to be IT. Let me go ahead and get Portuguese and that is going to be PT. Then we can go ahead and paste it. This is going to be Spanish and that is going to be ES and then we can do the scan. This is going to be Greek and this is going to be GL. Then down here we can go ahead and get Russian and this is going to be RU. Then we can go ahead and get Japanese and this is going to be JA. And finally we can go ahead and get Arabic and this is just going to be AR. So basically the value is what the uh, translator package is actually going to go ahead and pick up as the language and this the name is just basically what the member is going to see while using the command so they can actually select their language and not have to input some weird combination to get the right language or something like that so then down here we can go ahead and set required we're going to go ahead and make that true we can add a comma and we can go ahead and do async executes we can get our interaction and then we can go ahead and open this up in here we can go ahead and do const and we can go ahead and get our options and then we do equals and we're going to get interaction then down here we can do const text equals options that get string and that is going to be our message string and then we can go ahead and do const lan and that is going to be equals options that get string and that is going to be our language then we can do const applied equals await translates and then we can go ahead and get our text and then we can do comma and we're going to go ahead and get two and then in here we can open up a string and we can go ahead and get our language variable just like that so after doing that we can go ahead and create an embed so we can do const embed equals new embed builder and we can start by going ahead and set a color and this is going to be green then we can go ahead and set a title and in here i'm going to open up some emojis I'm going to go ahead and get a magnifying glass because we're indexing for a language and we can go ahead and say translate successful then we can go ahead and add fields and we can go ahead and get our name and this is going to be old text and we can set our value and here we can do the backslash tick three times just like that and we can get our text and then we can do this another three times just like that then we can go ahead and do comma we're going to do inline and that's going to be set to false and then after doing that we can actually go ahead and copy this field we're going to go ahead and paste that down here and instead of old text, we can go ahead and change that to translated text. And then for our value, we can go ahead and put in applied. And then we can do dot text, just like that. And inline is also going to be set to false as well. So now we can come down here and we're going to do await interaction dot reply. And we can go ahead and say embeds. And we can get our embed variable. 
and then we can go ahead and set infernal and we're gonna go ahead and make that true so that's pretty much all we have to do but we're actually gonna go ahead and do one more thing so right up here we can go ahead and do a way to interaction to reply and we can say content. In here, I'm just going to go ahead and get a hammer emoji, kind of like the Discord staff emoji. And then we can go ahead and say translating your language. And we can do dot dot dot. And then also we can go ahead and set this to infermal. Otherwise, our other embed will not be infermal when we send it. And then down here, we're going to go ahead and edit a reply instead of replying. All right, so now the last thing that we're going to do after editing that reply is we're going to go ahead and set our content to an empty string here and then we can add a comma there. So the reason we're doing all this is because we need to defer a reply. So let's say this translation takes like 30 seconds. The maximum application response time I think is like seven seconds unless you defer a reply. So because we're gonna defer a reply, if it takes longer than seven seconds, then it will still work and it will edit the message. Uh, otherwise it will just edit it right away. So this is just to make sure your bot isn't gonna crash. So that's all we have to do. So we can go ahead and restart the bot and test this out. All right, so over in our Discord server, we can go ahead and test this out. So we can go ahead and get our translate command and we can go ahead and get our message. So we can say, hello YouTube, and we can do that. And then we can go ahead and choose a language. So I'm gonna go ahead and start off with Spanish and we can go ahead and send it. And as you can see, it's gonna go ahead and say translating your language. And then once it's done, it's gonna go ahead and say, hello YouTube, that's gonna be my old text. And then it's gonna say, hola YouTube, which is pretty much basically just one word changed. So we can go ahead and try this again. And we can go ahead and get some random message. So we can say, hello, I am making a YouTube video on how to code a translate command for a Discord bot. And this time we can go ahead and select, let's say French, and we can go ahead and send it. As you can see, it's gonna translate and it's gonna give me my old text and then it's gonna put this in. So let's say we go ahead and copy this and we can actually put that in the translator. So we can back check this and then we can go ahead and select English so we can just confirm that this is correct. And as you can see, it's gonna put in pretty much the exact same text that I put in here. As you can see, there's a couple of differences like here I put translate and this is translated, but that's obviously because it's translating back and forth between two different languages. So that's you can code an advanced translate command for your discord.js version 14 bot. If you need any help with this, go ahead and join the server in the description below and we'll be happy to help you out. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video.